Hello everyone and welcome to the Meganon channel. Today we're going to be doing a full unboxing of the Meganon 755 and 753 dual band Wi-Fi range extenders. Let's get into it. Once you get your box open, the first thing that you're going to see, and using the example of the uh, 753, you're going to have your range extender show up. So as you can see here, the 753 comes with the external uh, antennas so that you can have a more directed signal. Uh, on the left side, you have the reset button there and uh, the on and off switch. Underneath, you have the Ethernet jacks. On the front, you have the WPS button as well as indicators on the right side that show that the extender is working and then as you can see here on the right you have the switch to control which mode you'd be using. Uh, this is going to be important in determining what you want to do with your range extender so the repeater basically is just a signal booster for your currently existing Wi-Fi. AP is the access point which controls whether or not your range extender acts as another uh, router essentially. When you get into the box you have your instruction manual which you saw and that's going to be important in terms of setting up your uh, range extender. You have your Ethernet cord that's included. As you can see here you have the warranty card so if anything happens to your range extender you just send it in and we'll send out a replacement. Because of this, this makes uh, the purchase a zero risk, so you don't really have to worry about if it breaks down, if anything is wrong with it, we'll just replace it right away. So opening it up the 755, similarly to the 753, it's the first thing you'll see. It has the on and off switch. On the front, it has the indicator as well. And then underneath, it has the WPS button the reset button as well as the switch to control which mode you're using. And then just like the 753 underneath the repeater you have your instruction manual, warranty card, customer service card, and your Ethernet cord. So let's put all this stuff to the side and we'll begin with the setup video in a moment. Now we understand that technology can be a challenge at times so we're gonna do a step-by-step -step instruction on how to set up your Wi-Fi extender whether or not it's the 753 or the 755 so the first thing that you want to do is if you're going to be setting up using a mobile device you go into the App Store whether it's, not, it's Google Play or it's uh, Apple and you're going to look for the Meganon Wi-Fi extender app as you can see here I already have it downloaded so we're going to open it up and move on to the next step from there once you get the app opened up you're going to have a list of available Meganon products now you're only going to be able to select between the 753 or the 755 if those are the ones that you purchased. In this case we're setting up the 755. So once you select whichever repeater you have, you're going to go to get to this screen. Then you're going to open up your Wi-Fi settings. So in a second you're going to see it take me to my screen. So you go into Wi-Fi and you select Wi-Fi repeater. Now this is going to enable your phone to act as the setup for the Wi-Fi repeater. So it's going to take you back to your app and it's going to begin that process of connecting the repeater to the phone. Once that's complete, you're going to get the list of available Wi-Fi networks and from here you're going to select whichever one you're trying to boost or use as a access point. So it's going to start that setup and then once the setup is complete 
you're done and ready to use your repeater as a booster. Now setting up your range extender or repeater through your computer is a simple process as well. What you do is you just go into your computer's Wi-Fi settings and you select the Wi-Fi extender similar to how you would do on the mobile device. Once that's complete, you can open up whichever browser you prefer to use, and you're going to enter the IP number that's given to you in the instruction manual into the search bar. So you just type that in like I'm doing here. Once that's done, it's going to take you to this screen, and you're going to enter the information given to you within the instruction manual as well. Once that's complete, it's going to begin searching for the available Wi-Fi networks. And once it brings up that list, you can go ahead and select whichever Wi-Fi you're trying to boost. Once you have your network selected, you use the password that you typically would and then just sign in and connect. Once that's done, you'll be able to rename the extended network from the Wi-Fi repeater and then you just enter whatever password you usually use for your normal network and you'll be able to connect. Now before we end the video, I just wanted to take a moment to show you the difference in the connection speeds. So on the left, we did a speed test of the regular network that we connected to without it being boosted. Now, when we tested this, we did the test from the top floor. The router is within the basement of the home. So as you can see, it's at 32.3 megabytes per second in download speed and 14.4 for upload speed. For the 755, you can see in the middle the connection speed for download and upload. And then on the right, you can see the connection speed for the 753. So there is an improvement and the difference in the connection speeds may differ based on your household and where you have your router set up and whether or not you use the repeaters as a Wi-Fi booster or if you choose to use it as an access point. Typically when you use it as an access point that will increase speeds more because it's connecting directly to the router rather than just being connected through Wi-Fi. So thank you for watching the video, and we hope that you'll be purchasing a Meganon WLR 753 or 755.